In a previous video, I showed you how to upload a JSON file onto Firestore using JavaScript, Node.js. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but this time we are going to upload a JSON file onto Firebase Firestore using Python. Here I have a JSON data file. Within this JSON file, there are over 500 items in it. And the plan here is to use Python to upload these data onto Firestore. For me to do that, I wrote a Python class called upload JSON file to uh, Firestore. Without wasting your time, I'm just going to go ahead and show you or demonstrate to you how this works. So here I'm going to go to the command line uh, in the terminal of my editor, and I'm going to hit this one line uh, CLI command, just like in the previous JavaScript uh, tutorial. Here I have a Python command line command with three arguments. The first argument is uh, the path to our Python file, and the second argument is the path to our JSON data file. The third argument is the method, the Firestore method we are going to use to store this data. We have two options, the art and the set method. And the, finally, the last argument is collection name. We are going to store these JSON. Before we go ahead, let's go to our Firestore backend and make sure there is no data or document in our Firestore uh, in that name. This is just to demonstrate to you what we are doing. Uh, as you can see, I refreshed that and here we have no document or any collection yet pertaining to the data we are going to upload to our Firestore backend. Uh, now let's go back to our text editor. And here in our text editor, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, enter. And as you can see, Python is transferring this JSON onto our Firestore backend. Uh, so we just have to wait a moment while this is completed. Okay, as you can see, our data has been successfully uploaded to Firestore. So if you look here at the uh, at the terminal, you can see a success message which says success upload. And you can see also the time it took to transfer this data onto our Firestore backend. Let's go to our Firebase console and check to make sure that the data has been successfully transferred. Here, I'm going to go ahead and refresh uh, the page. And that is it. You can see that the documents or our data has been successfully uploaded uh, to our Firestore backend. Uh, so how about we try this with the add command? And here, to do that with the add command, I'm just going to go ahead and add here add. And I'm also going to change the method here. And the method is going to be add. And with that, let's hit enter uh, to see our document being uploaded to Firestore. Okay, as you can see also, we have used the add method of Firestore to upload uh, to our Firestore Cloud Console. Let's go to the Firebase uh, Console and check to make sure that uh, the data has also been successfully transferred. And we should have two collections. Okay, so here we have another collection here now. And the only difference between these two collections is that one of the collections uses the custom IDs, which is uh, the set method, while the other collection uses the Firebase auto generated IDs. So basically, what I have here is an empty Python file. And the first thing I did was to import a system. Uh, we also imported a uh, JSON, which we are going to use to manipulate our JSON uh, data file. And the next thing I wanted to address was, uh, Python is a little bit different from JavaScript. So if you're new to Python, probably you're going to need to set a virtual environment where you would use uh, to be running your Python code uh, and also to be installing uh, third-party packages from the Python. I'm not going to go into details about that here, but just for your own convenience, I left a couple of comments here on how you could set up a virtual environment, both in Mac and also for Windows. And the next thing was to import Firebase admin, and I also imported a, 
the credentials uh, it's very important that you get uh, the credentials or the service account here from your firebase uh, console you're going to need this service account uh, in order to be able to upload data or to do anything with your firebase uh, console or firebase backend uh, so without these json or service account file you won't be able to uh, communicate with the firebase uh, console that said uh, what i did next was to just initialize our firestore client and here db here is just a database i wrote a class with that i wrote a class called upload json file to firestore within this class i have the first method python uh, built-in method which is the init method that within the init method what i did was to initialize our instance variables and for example here i'm getting the command line argument so i check to make sure three arguments are sent from our command line and next i initialize the variables in accordance to the uh, position or within the list of our input argument so we have here json data which is a json data file and we have uh, the method which is the firestore method so i explained to you earlier and we also have the collection name next just simply define a couple of methods here this methods for example here is a property method and uh, what it just does here is it, it gets uh, the firestore method which we are going to use and for us to be able to validate that we prevent you from entering any other string beside set or add so we have just basically two methods this prevents you from trying to use any other method to upload the data and next uh, we declare another uh, property method in this other property method here is a json file uh, so this is where we got our json file we open our json file loaded our json file data and store that data onto the json data variable uh, instance variable and with that what I did next was to define the main method which we are going to use to upload this data to our Firestore backend this method here I called it upload and within this method we are going to do a follow-up through our JSON data and through each follow-up we are going to upload this data onto our Firestore depending on the method the set or the add method so here I have some control statements, if and else. If the method is set, we use the set method. If the add method is add, we use uh, add method. In a moment, I will show you these uh, two methods below. And uh, this is just uh, for demo reasons. I wanted to style our JSON data. As you can see, the color JSON uh, data here. So that's why we have this piece of code here. Um, you probably won't need this. Uh, but it's just there to show you the stylings of uh, the JSON. So what I did next also was to make sure to check that we have uploaded all the data in our JSON file. And we do that by simply checking the index of the follow-up. And so when we check the index, we compare that index to the data, the length of our data in our JSON data variable. And so within that, we write, if it's done uploading the file, uh, we write a success upload method and we also write down the time taken for that to occur. The next method I have here uh, is the add method and also the set method. These are as simple as you can see. The first method is just it adds a collection to Firestore. And within this method, Firestore is going to auto generate the IDs for us. And in the second method, the set method, we add documents to our Firestore collection. Uh, but with this, we what we can do is we can set a custom ID for our documents in the Firestore console. So that is just uh, it for these uh, methods. And with that done, all I had to do was to run initialize the class and then run the upload method. And with that, all the data has been transferred to our Firestore backend. Uh, so in the next uh, tutorial, probably I'm going to do the same tutorial with. Uh, Java and also probably with PHP and so I hope you subscribe